Now, I think a good woman is a good thing. But Af in African tradition and in truth, women are less than men. They're not as powerful beings for the same reason. No one is as powerful a being as I am. They did not sacrifice for their cause, like I have. And they want me to sacrifice my sacred title. And my ability to help the world is uncontrolled opposition. When not one of them came to me and said, you know what? Let's, I'll be your wife. Let's squash it right now. Okay? I've sacrificed my entire life and everything to do the work of God. This is another example of how these godless harpies have no heart and demand conformity and respect. Pay attention to the next clips and keep that in mind. These, these people teach sacrifice, one for the good of all, some for the good of all. Do they practice what they preach? Of course not. Of course not. But they want me to give up my sacred title that I would die for. How many of you think these people even have logic? Remember, perhaps the most important way to judge someone is their ability to understand other people. Doesn't that show a despicable lack of understanding from America, the corporations, the different groups doing this, and certainly the despicable cowardly individuals who coordinate it? Does it not? Dear professors at universities in secret societies, first let us start with the idea that African culture is, cultures have a lot of things in common. Okay, there's many, many cultures, many diverse cultures, but they have a lot of commonalities. Almost all of them are patriarchal to this day, for the most part. So, was the Zulu nation founded by nerds or a military mind, as was every other great empire? The Mali Empire, Ibo Uku, the Nubians, these were warriors. How can you then have a secret society structure that completely ignores that irrefutable fact unless it is designed to make the elite look good and the true natural alpha males look bad? Anytime we create a society where the people who naturally would kill the others, you know, are put beneath people, we are not being true to our nature. I promise you that whether you're a liberal or a Christian, you are a hypocrite if you don't concede. Thank you. I'm gonna address all the opposition view briefly. I want you to notice the sound effects because I don't wanna, you know, take too much from this movie, just real quickly prove my point. Even in the movies, remember a lot of research is done for a lot of movies, but they're inaccurate in many cases. And usually because they're sending a certain propaganda message on purpose. It's not that they're ignorant, it's done on purpose, right? Most of the time, right? So when we look at this, right, I want you to notice several elements. The drum beat, the running through different terrains, right? It's done outdoors. And I want you to listen to the sound of making weapons. Let's go through it again. 20 men in the center. Displayed in four rows of five. They make up the head of the formation. The two groups of 15 men... Now listen very carefully. He's telling them a strategy. And notice this is similar to the military. Left, right, left, or whatever they say these days, whatever chants they do, whatever they do, right? And they also have the drums, just like in the Civil War, you know, the Napoleonic Wars or something, you know, whatever drum beats they play, right? And, um, you know, all this comes from African warfare, right? Warfare in general comes from African warfare, right? So who are the horns, our fastest runners? So he pre-selected these people. And for those of you who have been watching the movie, you know this is training the Zulus. This is before their first encounter. So how do you think he picked his fastest runners, ladies and gentlemen? Well, he had to find a contest to decide how to decipher, you know, how to choose who's the fastest. It's the same with sparring. How do you pick your deadliest warriors? Who do you want next to you? You say, well, first I'm going to have you guys race. Let's see who the fastest is. Okay, last person gets stomped out. 
for example. So we really see who really is the fastest. We'll give you some incentive, right? So you can't just kind of be like, well, I don't really want to be the fastest. So we'll really see. And wherever you belong, we're going to force you to be there. You know, you can't be the best warrior and pretend you're the worst so you increase your chances of survival. No, this is African selflessness. This is a community, a tribal effort. So therefore, any African that doesn't push for Africans to have the rightful place is being un-African, right? Is, being, is, is accepting white culture. You're saying, we're going to let the white man determine it instead of do what we've done historically, culturally, racially, tribally, as an ethnic group, etc. Religiously, spiritually. The herd will advance first with the horns hidden behind it. I'll stop there. Now, the head are the types of guys who don't fucking play around in the slightest. But however, the horns are probably the deadliest guys, in my opinion, because they have to go behind enemy lines. If, if the, you know, there's no retreating for them in a way, you know, they're stuck in between the enemy and the rest of the army, you know? These are the types of guys who don't fucking play. They go behind enemy lines like commandos or something. You see what I'm saying? That's phase one. Then when I give the word, the horns will strip out on both sides. That's phase two. Phase three. The horns and you hear how the drum is still going, right? Right? And they're not exercising. They're breathing. Also notice they're breathing, right? That's what you do when you do strenuous Montu art warfare and you forge this African body and for those of you I want you to look up Shaka Zulu training Zulus Teddy Legis L-E-G-S-E-S-S-E is the guy who posted the video has 536,000 views it was posted in March 6 2007 now the purpose of me saying this is yes how could we not know you know for you people to play stupid and pretend like they're gonna see it your way is laughable Now, it's very interesting. When he said, and closing, he made a fist, and he did that. You know? Why? He's not teaching him how to box, right? But it's the same kind of motion as he does in the beginning when he does this. Strategy. Speed. In fact, when he says strategy, go back to the start, watch the clip. Strategy. Right to the neck. Hand on head, right to neck. Big, ugly blade. What kind of body type does that the best? And what type of body type deserves its rightful place in this order? It's the same thing. Would we pretend like a center is not better off as a taller person? It's the same thing with a martial artist, with all due respect. Tall, fast, Speed. built like a leopard, compact and muscles. Physical contact. Fast twitch muscles. Defined body, not massive. The leopard hunts. The leopard hunts. Waiting for the best moment to strike. Timing. You see how this, you know, it says, oh, did Master He come up with that? Or did these Africans come up with that way before? Timing. Just like the animals, they say, we have to hunt these animals. We have to hunt them the same way they hunt each other. Anyway. Next, he uses his speed to outrun the victim. Okay, so what happened here? Remember in the, one of my last videos, I said, look, speed. Right? This guy is saying, I'm looking for warriors who have certain qualities to be my elite warriors. I don't accept illusion. This is reality. In case you missed that, let's start again. He's teaching these people certain things, and those who are the most proficient in those certain things are his elite warriors. Is strength one of them? How hard you can, how, how much of a punch you can take when a big, ugly spear goes through your fucking neck? Think. Strategy. Speed and physical contact. Your, the ability to strike one first, a.k.a. physical contact. How did you get it? Strategy and speed. How do you have strategy? You have a superior mind in real time. Super speed chess. The leopard hunts, waiting for the best moment to strike. Next, he uses his speed to outrun the victim. And finally, physical contact. When he sinks his fangs into the impala's throat. Now, what is he saying? He's saying, I'm not teaching you how to take someone to the ground, buddy. This whole clip in the movie doesn't show anything about that. 
We are not trying to impress people on TV. I am teaching you our sacred, traditional, intangible heritage, the essence of it, the leopard style of African warfare that expelled all other races with all due respect, with all due respect. And this is what I'm looking for. Focus, use your mind, cultivate these things better than the next man and you can be my predecessor. Excuse me, excuse me, you can be my successor. Do you get my point? Earn. Now look up look up the Zulu warriors. They rewarded these guys with women. They said, you are the most proficient. You get the finest woman. So even if they don't allow them to continue the line because they're not in the family, is Shaka's line the line of geeks? Or is it the line of great warriors and they started with Shaka? Right? It's the same with Mene. There was people before Mene. Who was his father? And so on, right? No, they started with him. Because warriors put this shit together with their superior mind and were the most respected people in the fucking, fucking, fucking community. So how dare you deny me my rightful place? How dare you? Our strategy is ludicrous. We go out of our way to make our presence known. The UFC fighting is ludicrous. It has nothing to do with martial arts, and I'll let it be known. The emphasis is on grappling and avoiding deadly strikes. When the leopard doesn't play patty cake, he doesn't kid around. My lord, my ancestors, he hunts. Thank you. How can one make peace with his oppressor? When he steals from us, exploits us, Sets us up with gold digging whores to get financially sabotaged. Controls all the other movements? No. In 2017, especially, and on, the only way to truly be a revolutionary is total war. Now in this video, I'm not necessarily saying that one should commit total war. But I'm saying in the truth of this all, raping and murdering your enemies is not immoral when they continue to do eugenics on you. My name is Chukwa Mecca. I'm the top martial artist. And the reason why I emphasize this truth is so that these cowardly 